Hello friends, this is Scott with Modern Living Off Grid, and today I'd like to talk to you about RV LED lighting. Not the typical LED lighting you'll find in your RV ceiling lamps, but rather a 12 volt LED bulb that's specifically designed to be used in a lamp you'd find in your house. Now why would we want to do this? In our Sprinter Travel Trailer we have a rear living room. Between the two seats we need additional lighting during the evening for reading and just general lighting. I also needed additional lighting over on our dinette so when I'm working on my computer I have some better lighting. That light behind you there on the dinette has already been converted to run on 12 volts DC. Today I'm going to show you how I did that and how easy it is to do. You're going to need several tools to do this. First of all you're going to need a 12 volt plug. You're going to need a wire cutter some connectors, and then a tool to crimp those connectors. You're also going to need a digital voltmeter with an ohm setting on it so we can determine which cord, or which end of the cord here is a positive and a negative since these bulbs do have a polarity. The first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to remove the old 120 volt bulb. And I'm going to set that aside. One thing you want to be extremely careful of is that you don't accidentally install one of these 12 volt bulbs and plug it into 120. Bad things will happen. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the old end off since I will no longer need this. Now I'm going to separate the two leads. I'm going to do that by just going here with my cutting tool. And that's not working too well. Let me try with my. Yeah, this is being a little bit of a bugger, but we'll get her here. There we go. Let me give myself an inch or so. Next, I'm going to use my wire stripper and I'm going to strip off about a quarter inch. And I'm going to do the same to the other side. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my ohm meter to the ohm setting. I'm going to take the black end on stick on one. It doesn't matter which one you stick it on. And I'm going to take my other meter and I'm going to touch the outside of the socket where the bulb goes in. So basically I'm touching this part on the inside. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for my ohm meter to go to about zero ohms. Since it didn't, I know I'm on the other cord, the one that goes to this guy right here. But I want to confirm, so I'm just going to switch my leads over and I'm going to touch. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but I'm at about 0.2 ohms. So now I know that this is the negative side of the lamp, or it's going to be the negative side of the bulb. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a butt connector. I'm going to slide this in. I'm going to take my crimping tool. And I'm simply going to squeeze. And what this is going to do it's going to make the electrical connection firm. I'm just going to pull on that to make sure, and I've definitely got a nice crimp. Now since I know this is the negative side, I'm going to take my cigarette cord, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to split the, split the wires apart. Yeah, it just doesn't want to work for me today, so let's do this. There we go. I'm going to strip this end. About a quarter inch is about all you need. And I'm going to stick that into the other side of the butt connector. I'm going to take my crimping tool. I'm going to crimp it. I'm 
and verify I've got a good connection, which I do, and I'm ready to do the other side. Now just to make sure I didn't accidentally mess anything up, I'm going to check the other side. So again, I'm going to get my meter set to ohms. I'm going to put my black end on the one side, and I'm going to touch the center part. Basically, I'm touching the inside of the socket to this part right here. And I'm looking for zero ohms. Again, since I have an open there, it just tells me that the bulb's not turned on, the lamp's not turned on. There we go. About 2.2 ohms. So now I know for sure this is a positive side. I'm just going to repeat that same process. I'm going to take my butt connector. I'm going to put my wire in using my crimping tool. I'm going to crimp it, give it a good squeeze. Take my wire stripper, I'm going to strip off about a quarter inch. I'm going to stick that in the other side. And again, using my crimping tool, I'm just going to crimp that. And that's really all there is to it. I'm just going to take some electrical tape now and just tape these up to give a little bit cleaner appearance and to help protect the connections. And for this, I'll probably use about eight inches. And I'm just going to wrap the wire or the electrical tape around, trying to avoid sticking it to it. We'll come back down. There, and just as a double check, one more time, just have an abundance of caution here. I'm just going to go to the negative side, and I'm going to go to the inside. So again, basically I'm just touching on the inside where this guy makes contact. I'm looking for my ohm meter to go to zero ohms, just to make sure I got this wired correctly. And it does. So I'm now safe to stick my bulb in. Again, I'm just going to double check my bulb to make sure it does say 12 volts DC, which it does, 12 volts DC, 60 watt. I'm going to screw it in like a typical bulb. I'm just going to turn the unit off. And I'm going to plug it in and see if it works. Okay, I've now got the lamp back where it's supposed to be between our two chairs in our rear living room and our Sprinter travel trailer. And all that's left for me to do is plug it in, verify it works. So I'm simply going to take my 12 volt plug. I'm going to plug it into a 12 volt outlet. Reach up and turn the lamp on. And there it goes. This bulb is now running off of 12 volts DC. The biggest benefit to this is whether we're plugged in to our RV parks, electrical power like we are today, or whether we're boondocking in some remote location, this lamp and the lamp of my dinette will always work. These bulbs are not just for RVs though. If you have a tiny house or maybe an off-grid site, these bulbs are ideal since you don't need to run your inverter. We own an off-grid farm site and we converted all of our building lights to a little bit bigger bulb. This is a 100 watt bulb but it also runs off of 12 volts. The benefit is to this is I don't need to run my inverter to power my lights. I have a link in the description below for both of these bulbs along with the plug. If you have any comments, please feel free to leave me a comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.